What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. I'm also joined today by Pumpkin who will probably feature randomly in this video. She's in a very explorative mood. Um, so as you can tell by the title, I thought I would do a fun little video um, for you guys to get to know me a little better. She is gonna knock everything off. Um, and that is the 16 personalities or the Myers-Briggs personality test, whatever it's called. Um, I thought it'd be really fun to film. So I have the test on my phone. I'm on the 16personalities.com. I am hoping this is the right website or Lord knows what I'm doing. So three things to know before taking the test. I've got cat hair everywhere. That's the first thing you need to know. It takes less than 12 minutes. Answer honestly, even if you don't like the answer, try not to leave any neutral answers. Question number one, you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Agree. I'm shy AF. You often get so lost in your thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. More agree than disagree. I often get lost in thought, but not to the point where I'm so like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Almost to that point, but not quite. So we'll do like a middle agree. You try to respond to emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. True. I always get little notifications on my phone. So as soon as an email comes through, I either delete it, read it, whatever. Very true. You find it easy to stay relaxed even when there is some pressure. <laughs> no, nope. I get so stressed. Even at the thought of stress, that stresses me out. Like I am a bundle of anxiety. So that is, that is a straight up disagree. You do not usually initiate conversations. It kind of depends. At work, I do because I need to like speak to the customers and see if they're okay. But other than that, <laughs> nope. So I'll go for like a the lowest degree. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Um, I'm gonna say disagree because I mm, slight agree because I do, but I have to have Jake with me or my sister with me. Otherwise, I'm like, mm -mm, not gonna happen. Right, the next page. You feel superior to other people. Disagree. Being organised is more important to you than being adaptable. Mm, no, but the lowest no. You're usually highly motivated and energetic. Low agree, because I'm definitely motivated, but I'm not energetic. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Matters. I need to check I'm wording this right. Matters less to you. So, okay, so making sure no one gets upset is more important. Yeah, that's true, because I don't like when people are sad. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Oh my god, yes. Middle agree. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Lowest agree. They're pretty tidy, but definitely could be tidier. You do not mind being the centre of attention. Lowest disagree. Sometimes it's nice, but 99% of the time, I just want to blend the fuck in. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Nope. <laughs> nope. I am not a practical person. People can rarely upset you. <laughs> nope. I get upset so easily. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Um, yes and no, probably less, so am I in focus? Um, I'll say middle agree. They are, but they could probably be more planned. Um, it is difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. L lowest disagree, no, yeah, lowest disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Definite full agree. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Mm, it depends on the discussion, so I'm gonna say lowest agree, because I would hate to be lied to. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Lowest disagree. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Definitely agree to that. You are often envious of others. Agree? Yup. An interesting book or a video game is often better than a social event. Oh, a fucking men. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Um, lowest agree. I'm really good at planning. I just don't necessarily carry it out. Um, I kind of just go with it when it comes to projects. 
You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Lois disagree. I do. I did a lot more when I was younger, but now I'm a little bit more logical, but not a lot. <laughs> you often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature. Disagree, I would not allow myself to get lost because I would get too scared. <laughs> if someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Not email, but text, so definitely agree. Like if Jake doesn't reply, I just panic that he's either dead or he doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Absolutely. You do not let other people influence your actions. Um, disagree. It's the lowest disagree. I always ask like my mum or Jake or Casey for advice, um, but I wouldn't let just random strangers influence my actions. Like I'm not, I'm never, never been one for like peer pressure or anything like that. Um, when you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Middle agree, because if there's like something that's happening that's coming up soon that I'm worried about, I dream like 10 different scenarios every night about all the things that could possibly go wrong. <laughs> it is not taking much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Um, medium disagree. In every job I've had, I've never really been social. I've never really joined in with the stuff that goes on outside of work besides this new job where I have like two hella good friends. Um, other than that, no. I say new job, I've been there nearly two years. You're more of, of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Slightly, but not a lot. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Agree. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. I like pub crawls where you have to dress up, so I'm going to say lowest agree, but I wouldn't do it all the time. You often spend what? You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. No, because if it's like a fantasy holiday or like if I could go anywhere or if I could buy anything, then I just get too sad that I can't, so I don't. So disagree. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan somewhat agree. You're a relatively reserved and quiet person. Absolutely. If you, if you had a business you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Yes, I wouldn't be able to fire them because I'd feel so bad. I would just have to like, I don't know, take them to one side or like give them less responsibility. Oh my god, I can't breathe. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. As a kid, I used to a lot and it used to really freak me out. Um, I'm going to say low agree. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Disagree. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. No, I need a to-do list in my life. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Um, I'm just so mega awkward when it comes to friends being sad. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry, that's so shit for you. Um, I don't know, here's a picture of pumpkin. Um, I'm just so wank, I'm probably not good with either of those things. Um, I'm probably better at suggesting ways to deal with it, so I'll go disagree. You rarely feel insecure. Disagree. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Disagree, I'm kinda lazy. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Disagree, teamwork is about being a team. You think everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they're supported by facts or not. Lowest agree, everyone's definitely entitled to their own views and they should be respected, but if it's just completely, absolutely, you know, insane, then maybe don't fully support it. Um, you feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Absolute disagree. I'll come home, get into my pajamas, get on the sofa with pumpkin and all my blankets and just chill. You frequently misplace your things. Agree. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. I feel attacked by that statement. Disagree. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Agree. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Disagree. 
You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. <laughs> Absolutely agree. I, I was, I'm stuttering just thinking about it. I get so panicked if I have to like talk in front of more than like two people. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Mm, kind of depends on the situation. I'll go low agree. Um, you worry too much about what other people think. Agree. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Absolutely. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. Disagree. In terms of like uni work, I'm pretty good at getting it all done on time without having to leave it all to the last minute. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yes. Believe that, that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yeah, I think it's probably better to be liked and have more friends than it is to just have, like, to be powerful but have, like, no one. You've always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, e.g. books, art, or movies. Yes. Like, in films when I was a kid, I would always, like, my favourite character would always be one of the more background characters, which sucked when I was a kid because I wanted, like, the toys or the merch for, like, the background characters, but it's always the main people and they're always so lame. Yes, agree. You often take initiative in social situations. Nope, I take the back fucking seat and I'll wait for it to be over. Results. I'm actually scared. Your personality type is advocate. I-N-F-J-T. Let me show you the right path. 79% uh, introverted. Yep, expected. Um, energy, 51% intuitive, 49% observant, yeah, I, like, I'd say that's probably true because I do sit back and watch but I also kind of go with my instinct, 71% um, feeling, 29% thinking, very true, um, tactics, 51% judging, 49% prospecting, I don't really care about that one. Identity, 88% turbulent, 12% assertive. Okay, I definitely feel attacked by that. Oh my God, turbulent is such an odd word. Okay, so I'm like introverted, intuitive, a feeler, judgy, and turbulent. Get my results by email so I can save these because these are funny. A little bit about an advocate personality. So it's, Oh, cute. It's very rare, making up less than 1% of the population. Oh, cute. Maybe that's why I don't get on with people that well, because like, there's no people with like similar personalities. Um, okay. Nonetheless, they leave their mark on the world as members of the diplomat role group. What? As members of the diplomat role group, advocates have an inborn sense of idealism and morality, but what sets them apart is they're not idle dreamers, but people capable of taking concrete steps to realise their goals and make a lasting impact. They tend to see helping others as their purpose in life, but while people with this personality type can be found engaging rescue efforts, but while people with this personality type can be found engaging rescue efforts and doing charity work, their real passion is to get to the heart of the issue so that people need not be rescued at all. Help me help you. Share a unique combination of traits through soft-spoken... Oh my god, I can't talk. Those soft-spoken, they have very strong opinions, will fight tirelessly for an idea they believe in. They're decisive and strong-willed, but will rarely use their energy for personal gain. They act with creativity, imagination, conviction and sensitivity, not to create advantage, but to create balance. Strengths and weaknesses. Oh my god, this video has been so long. I will cut this down. Strengths, creative, insightful, inspiring and convincing, decisive, determined and passionate, altruistic. Weaknesses, sensitive, extremely private, perfectionist, always need to have a cause, can burn out easily. Romantic relationships, that's interesting. Take the process of finding a partner seriously, not ones for casual encounters. People with the advocate personality type instead look for depth and meaning in their relationships. Advocates will take the time necessary to find someone they truly connect with. Once they've found someone, their relationship will reach a level of depth and sincerity that most people can only dream of. Okay, there is more information, but honestly, you guys are probably already bored to tears with hearing about my personality type. Um, so I will leave that for another day. 
Um, but um, let me know down below your guys' personality types. What did you get? And do any of you have the same as me? Because that would be cool to see. I can't actually remember what my <laughs> thing is called. INFJT. So let me know if any of you have that rare 1% or whatever the fuck it was. Um, yeah, this was really fun to do. It was fun to um, look at. So yeah, go ahead and do the little test. It will be linked below. Obviously not sponsored or anything, that would be weird. Um, yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.